Hello, it's Maria. This is my nail disorder board. I'm just going to go through the different disorders I have here. First one is anechochesia, which is when the nail splits into layers, usually a medium viscosity, caused by irritation of chemicals, soap or polish, or from uh, systemic injury, and loss of moisture. You should avoid water and use oil, and no alkaline nail hardener for this. Colonicia hollow surface that is concave and flat and spoon shaped, maybe a general skin disorder. Eggshell nails, thin white nail plates that separate from the nail bed that are more flexible and may curve over the free edge. Onychus, the nail inflammation or irritation of the matrix. Onycholysis, the loosening of the nail plate could be from eczema, psoriasis, fungus infection, or prolonged water exposure. Onychophosis is an overgrowth of keratin, could be caused by chemicals, radioactivity, skin disease, or malignant cancer, do not treat. Onychoptosis is shedding of the nail, we don't treat those, refer to a physician. The fluvium is a separation of the nail bed caused by heredity, diabetes, or local trauma. Leukonychia spots, which are white spots usually caused by injury to the nail matrix, and these spots will normally grow out. Onychocyanosis is blue nail caused by poor circulation or heart condition. You should refer to them to the physician. Yellow nail is when Smooth but thick and have a slow growth rate, may be caused by heredity or systemic injury. Do not treat, they're very yellow. Hemorrhoid, hemorrhagic, bleeding of the nail, caused by trauma or disease, do not treat. Nail patrigium. The growth of the cuticle over the nail plate may be completely covering the nail plate. Treat with oil manicure in severe cases. Egg nail is a hang nail that may develop a, an infection, splitting or injury of the cuticle. Soak in oil and loosen the cuticle in this case. Tinea ungui, have very difficulty with this word, unguium. <laughs> This ringworm nail, that's easier to say, and it is a superficial nail infection in the skin surrounding the nail, usually caused by infect by a fungus, just around the moon, half moon there. Tinepedia is a superficial infection around the nails on feet caused by fungus and do not treat. Well, paranychia or chronic paranychia inflammation around the nail bed and spreads rapidly. Chronic mild redness and swelling may appear. Caused by a fungus or psoriasis. An acute of this is a result of a bacterial infection. So we should refer to, them to a physician when we see this. And there are the three different viscosities, which is low viscosity, which is a dry, brittle nail. Medium viscosity, which is layering or peeling nail. And then a high viscosity, which is a soft, flexible nail. More common than not is the medium viscosity. And then there's melano melanonychia, which is darkening of the fingernail or toenails. The black band with the nail plate from base to edge. Corrugations are long ridges that run lengthwise across the nail. Onychopsis is an overgrowth of the nail, usually in thickness rather than in length. So it's really thick. Onychotrophia, which is an atrophy or wasting away of the nail, refer to a physician. Onychophema is swelling of the nail. Traverse furrows are horizontal furrows that are often called bows lines. So they're a 
right across the nail. On a cryptosis is ingrown nail, very common on toes. Nail psoriasis is a non-infectious condition that affects the surface of the natural nail plate, causing tiny pits or severe roughness on the surface of the nail plate. You can see here, you see little dots. Those lines or traverse furrows are visible depressions running across the width of the nail plate. And then we have onycophagy, which is very common. It's bitten nails. Here, people that bite their nails, very common. And last but not least, onycorexis is when the nail splits or brittle nails that also have series of lengthwise ridges giving a rough appearance to the surface of the nail. Right there, so it's lengthwise and not horizontal lines. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation and enjoyed my board. Thank you for your time.